Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We are back and we're doing a best of three M21 draft. All right, draft has fired and we've got Stormwing Entity as our rare, probably the pick. What else do we have? Basri, Solidarity, good at its best in Selesnia, but certainly fine if you have a heavy creature deck with white. Watcher of the Sphere is one of the better cards for the Azoria Skies list. Uh, Chorister, playable in any white deck at its best in Black White Life Gain for the synergies. Mistral Singer, also an Is It Spells card, also playable in Skies. Azoria Skies, uh, Crypt Lurker, good with uh, Rakdos Sack decks. Um, Protege, probably at its best with some sort of Teferi's Tutelage build. Crash Through is a good it card. Uh, I personally like Track Down, but I think some people don't like it. I think it's an easy entity. This basically just needs like an opt and on color with itself, and you've got yourself a nice little uh, two mana, three three flying prowess with upside. Or, yeah, it's pretty insane actually. So we could take the opt. It seems a bit premature, but. It's a good way to turn on the entity. Otherwise, I mean, the strongest card in here is probably Warden of the Woods. I've been, I'm pretty impressed with this card generally. It's not easy to deal with. There certainly are ways to deal with it without targeting it. But a six mana five seven vigilance is the real deal. It's a good beater. Um, so best synergy card for our first pick would be Opt. I would say it's quite a bit weaker than Warden of the Woods. Um, I mean, there's a 100% chance that the opt makes our 23 in a Stormwing Entity deck, which I think is a reasonable argument to take it here. Because we're also, if we take Warden of the Woods over it, I, I think this is weird. Usually I would go for the strongest card, but because there's a 100% chance I play opt if we end up in blue, I'm okay taking it here. Uh, next pick. Well, we can take the Capture Sphere. Might be the best card in here. I really love Deathbloom Thalid. Pride Malkin, good for Selesnia. Watchdog, good with Boros for the, the Houndmaster. Could take the Sanctum, I guess. Good with Tutelage. Um, I'm okay taking Capture Sphere. It's, it's blue removal. Deals with Everything. Not everything, but a lot of things. Um, there's been times where it's not great, but I'm okay taking it here. All right. I think we see, all right, we're seeing quite a few green picks here, but none of them are exceptional. There's Frost Breath. We could cut, continue to cut blue hard by taking Frost Breath. It's not a an amazing card, but certainly playable. Otherwise, we t you could take the Temple. What's the bonus of taking the Temple? Well, if we end up in either of these colors, it's absolutely getting played. I don't know for sure if Frost Breath's going to make the deck, but there's a decent chance it does. It's not great with Prowess, actually, because you usually cast it on your opponent's turn. I mean, you can cast it on your turn, too. It's just at its best on your opponent's turn. I'll, I'll take it. It cuts blue completely from this pack. I think that's reasonable. So there's Read the Tides in here. Sky Scanner, which I kind of like. Nothing else exceptional in here. So Sky Scanner is cool just because it's a cheap flyer that draws you a card. I, I like it. But I'm okay taking Read the Tides here too. I mean, it's, it's definitely impressed me. It's good card advantage. And there's nothing else insane here. All right, I'll take it. Cutting blue. All right, riddle form is pick six is a good sign. That is a good sign. It's one of the better cards for is it spells. Just between riddle form and storming entity, we've got a good start to that archetype. There's the red sanctum now. I mean, if you have the red and the blue sanctum, it's probably fine to play both. Pretty happy to pick up a riddle form here, though. It's really good for the plan. 
Okay. So I can take Arsonist here. I personally like the card a lot. This isn't the ideal archetype for it, but uh, in aggro format, I'm always happy to play Arsonist if I'm in red. It's it's really good. Very difficult card to deal with sometimes. It's a one mana card that can deal with two toughness creatures or even get two for ones for one mana. It really does a lot, especially in this format. So we can take the Burn Bright now. I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, it's kind of a combo card. It does work with Riddle Form, which is nice. But it's at its best with like Wizardry. Turns them into four power creatures. This whole strategy is totally hinges on... I think why I have so much trouble with this archetype is it's a lot of... It requires a lot of kind of smart planning and timing. You really have to time it correctly to make it work. I think it's an easy cliffs here if we really want to make this deck work. Just get the fixing. Over a cancel on a megalodon. I'm okay with that. It was a late chorister though. Nothing on color here. The best card is maybe an archer. Which isn't a great sign for the power level. We could take highlands. Maybe you splash green for something. I don't know. I don't know what you would. We can take the tampering. It's a playable card. We already kind of have a couple of evasive threats, so I, I don't think it seems great here. But if we end up with enough wizardries, maybe it makes sense. I don't know. Don't want any of these. The best card is... Maybe Defiant Strike because of the prowess bonuses. Ranger's Guile is the best card in a vacuum, but... I mean, I guess maybe these two are actually pretty close. But I'll take the Strike just because I like it best with prowess. All right, we'll cut the red card here. Stalker is kind of whatever anyway. Kind of a weird pack one. We did get the six pick riddle form, which is a good sign for is it. Um, Shackle guy. So, well, it's a good beater. It's also Mistral Singer. But I'm fine taking the Geist. Two drop beater. It's going to be good with the Burn Brights. Be nice to wield a Mistral Singer. I would even take the turn to Slag. But we'll take the Geist. Two drop beater incinerator. Well, I can take it. Problem is we don't really have non-combat damage sources in this deck. Got an arsonist which can make it one cheaper. It's cool that it turns your like shocks into, you know, shocks on your opponent's creatures as well. Really good black cards in here. Eliminate freebooter and grasp. I don't need another read the tides. I could take the sky scanner. I guess we take the incinerator. <sighs> Already looking a little bit top heavy. Um, I mean, if we get volcanic geyser, incinerator is going to be really good. If you, let's say you geyser for five, so you would need seven mana, and then you can play this for one. I mean,. It's not really that great. At that point, you'd rather just hard cast the Incinerator and cast Geyser. All right, well, here it's an easy dragon fire, so that's a good pickup for us. Other notable picks in here. Twin Blade Assassin is quite good. I don't really like the Empath. I do like Battlements. Come around on this card. Charger's good. Megalodon is a big finisher for certain decks. Archer's playable, but easy dragon fire for us, which is nice. There's the geyser, so we could take it. There's nothing else here for us anyway, so it makes sense. Good white cards here. Easy geyser, I think. We're looking like a 17 land deck now too, but that's fine. So, I actually want Palladium Mirror in here quite a bit with all these six drops and X spells. Um, the Arcanist would be good in here. I don't know if we're looking like a tampering Burn Bright deck yet. So there's Pitchburn Devils versus Larcenist. Um, I, I mean, I guess we have a Frost Breath. Tampering, sort of. Capture Sphere. 
I don't really like Larsonist, but for now, I think we take it over the doubles. Try and get cheaper spells here. Patrician's really good. So we can take another Frost Breath. Jeez, Silver Smoke Ghoul and a Hallow Blade in here. Good white black cards This blowing this pack. I think we take another Frost Breath. Makes sense with the Larsonist, especially if we're not getting the Rousing Reeds. Otherwise, I take like a Sure Strike, I guess. Nothing here we want. We'll take the Crab. It can buy time. I might put it in the deck if I need it. Take Cancel, can take Dart, can take Hobble Fiend. Pretty low creature count currently. Dart still turns on Prowess, which is nice. Guess it activates a Riddle Form too. Yeah, I like that more than Cancel for a Riddle Form plan. It's also a Turret Ogre, which I think is great for us. I don't really want the Dart either, but I, I guess I just don't need any of those cards. I guess we take the Crag in case there's a white spell we want to splash now. It seems unlikely, but we'll see. I guess we can take another dart. I mean, we're already not looking like tampering. I'm going to pass all these. I don't think tampering is going to work out here. Jeez. Do we have all the lands to splash? I'm not going to play Rewind. So we didn't find any Arcanus. I guess I can take whatever doesn't matter so this deck needs some help pack one we did get hooked up so kind of banking on pack three here to really carry us to the promised land because this deck needs some help we've got some good stuff in here but we need a lot more neither of these cards matter we'll pick the weaker one because we're not competing with white all right, Transmogrify, not exactly what I'm looking for. We can take the Rousing Reed, but I think we got to slam the second Riddle form. It's kind of exactly what our deck needs. More of this. And like I said, the Sound Dart turning them on is actually kind of nice. Gives us some removal. It kind of timing-wise works well for us, too, because we can go turn two Riddle form, turn three Dart. Well... I guess we can go turn one dart, turn two riddle form, turn three larcenist, and have mana for dart. It's not great, but considering our plan is <laughs> not coming together perfectly, I think we just go for what we do what we can here. Or we can take the solemn, but there's another geyser. I think we probably take geyser. We are creature light, which I don't love. We have eight with the riddle forms. Solemn is, is kind of always good. And it also feeds our our geyser incinerator. It lets us do turn five incinerator, turn five read the tides. We might actually need this solemn. We need more bodies. We want the ramp. We've got a lot of expensive stuff. It blocks well. I think we sadly take it here. So tide skimmer I do kind of like. Uh, especially with the riddle form. And it evades. There's also a rousing read for the larcenist. And drawing cards is just good. And there's another arsonist in here. But I think we... How many other flyers do we have? We have the entity. Chackle guys for... Yeah, you know what? We're taking this tide schemer. We have four other flyers currently. To me it makes sense. I think we might wheel something we want out of there, too. So we can take a second Larcenist. It might actually make sense here over the Arsonist just because we have two Frost Breath. We have the Darts, which we may or may not play. And we definitely want to draw some cards, so I guess we do it. Sometimes it can keep cards back, too. I'm okay with it. Another Read the Tides or Wish Quaint Crab. We didn't get any Arcanus, which is kind of sad. Two six drops is probably enough. I guess we take another Crab to buy time. I mean, Cancel's a playable card, but not for us. It's not what we want to do. I can do a second read. It's just 
with one solemn as ramp, it doesn't seem very wise. I mean, I don't want to play two crabs either, but I might have to. So we can take turn to slag here. I like Kerr more than most. It's also a hobble fiend. Probably take the slag though. Take the expensive removal. So we probably just take and play this wall of runes and be happy enough about it. All right, we can take the Mistral Singer. How good is Insight in here? It works with Opt. It's going to work with Larcenous, Skimmer, Solemn, Read the Tides. Draw six off Read the Tides. I probably, I think I just need this Singer. We need actual ways to win, and it works better with the Tide Skimmer. We could take another Frost Breath. I might do it. We're at... 14 creatures, which is acceptable. I don't think I'm going to play the Igneous Kerr. Three Frost Breaths does seem excessive. But maybe not for two Art Larcenists without any Rousing Reads. All right. All right, got the Geyser back. That's kind of crazy. It's a good sign. So, deck's not great. We didn't get, we got zero Wizardries, zero Spell uh, Weirds. Whatever, Spellgorge are weird. Replicator, we have two Larcenists. We have two Wish Queen Crabs. Am I going to play a Short Strike? Probably not. I guess we take Replicator in case I need it. To get the second Arsonist back. That's that's actually good news. Take a Cancel for Sideboard, I guess. Whatever. All right, so not a perfect deck, honestly. There are some, some holes in our plan here. We did not get the Spellgorger Weirds and we did not get the Goblin Wizardries. And I think those are very important aspects of these decks. Um, so instead we've got to figure out what the game plan is. We have 16 creatures with the Riddle Forms. I think we will be doing the Replicator just because we have enough payoffs to make it work. I don't think we need three Frost Breaths, and we're probably off the dart plan. How many ways do I have to activate Riddle Form? I guess one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not including the darts? Or was that including the darts? I can't remember. One, three. I guess Riddle Form activates Riddle Form too, which is kind of nice. Um, we're probably off darts, I guess. Maybe two frost breaths. Double crab. I kind of need to keep all my double creatures for maximizing replicator value. I don't really want to cut wall of runes, but I might. I could sideboard into it. Not sure on the last cut, honestly. I don't want to cut any of my double creatures. All my spells are pretty important. I guess the least important spell is maybe Frost Breath. Could be Turn to Slag. Because we don't have a lot of ramp for it. We don't have a lot of hard removal in here, though. I guess we have the geysers and the dragon fire. I feel like the tempo aspect of frost breath with double arsonists is too important to, to pass up on here. So maybe we cut the slag. Frost breath also lets us go. Frost breath plus stormwing entity for five mana. That makes sense. This deck's not great. This deck is not great. Not much red in here. Which is weird, because it didn't feel like Red was... Red was getting cut pack 2, but pack 3 we got like a, a pick 10 geyser. Which is crazy. Pick 9 or 10 geyser. Probably still want 7 red. So, I mean, we need red. We need double red. We need red early. So at least 7 red.
and then 10 blue. I mean, we have more than twice as much blue, so we might do that. Another thing I can do is I can do one more mountain. We only have one double blue card, and it's only double blue if we hard cast it. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. I'll do one more red. You still have 10 blue sources. Yeah, this is fine. This deck's not great. I'd give this deck probably a C minus, D plus. It just does, did not quite get enough of the goodies to, and it's my least favorite archetype. <laughs> Why did I build this deck? I don't know. I felt like the sixth pick riddle form, I think, was a sign. Um, and then like the, I don't know. We got a couple weird signs, but ultimately I, I don't think this came together nicely. I think we could have built a better black-white deck. But this is what we got, so this is what I'm going to run. We'll see you round one. All right, round one. We'll play first. Got to keep this. I think we start with the Shacklegeist. Get some damage in. we drawn land there, it actually would have been really good for us because uh, Larsonus can attack into a Fort Gullis line. Mm, Rod has a strong one. So we can play the Larsonus, which has a chance to keep Radha back. Although, if they have a follow-up creature, I guess we're in a little bit of trouble. Radha with trackdown is actually really good. You can put a creature on top of your deck and a land underneath it. You can draw the creature, then play the land off the top of your deck. It's pretty good. I couldn't tell if they played that from their hand or their library. I think they played it from their hand. Alright, that's good news for us. So, should have actually not played the land there. But, they'll probably burn the Lars Nest is my guess. We'll see. Wow. They're letting us draw, huh? It's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's like a free card draw for us. So, I think I'll play the crab, actually. Capture Sphere is probably better served on something huge. And Capture Sphere also doesn't stop the value of Radha, so to me it makes sense. We want to cast Capture Sphere on our turn, though, to activate the Riddle form. Sure. Now, Capture Sphere on Sabertooth Mauler? Not so good, as it turns out. That, however, is kind of perfect, so we'll do that. Uh, unfortunately, they can... I think we still have to do it. So the problem, okay, the problem with this is they can untap the Mauler. But we're still going for it here. Uh, yeah, those aren't untapping, so that's fine. And then we play the land, and we'll play the Arsonist. So now we can read the tides if we draw land and bounce some things. This Shacklegeist has done six points of damage, I think. Let's see. Two, three, four, five. At least six points of damage. So if they fight and kill something, they can untap their Mauler. Which would be wise of them to do.
We don't need much more damage, though, before Arsonist is... Like, Arsonist pings are going to do some work. So three mana. I mean, they're in red. They they must have some removal. Oh, they can untap the Mauler with the... It, so they sack the Vine, and they can untap their Mauler. Which, by the way, is still fine for us. Because now if we rip a land... We don't even need to rip the land. Like, we did, but we didn't even need to do that. Now we just bounce, and I think they're done. We activate that, and this is probably just lethal. If it's not lethal, it's it's pretty close. Alright, Xaxes. Well, we stole a victory there. It's pretty sweet. Alright, we'll see you for game two here. I forgot that we're in we're in best of three. So we stole game one though. That's that's pretty nice. Silent Dark deals with Radha pretty effectively, actually. More effectively than a capture sphere does, and for a cheaper cost. And, I mean, it kind of just dealt with everything we saw, so kind of thinking Dart might be a better, might be better. Then Sphere, yeah. A little more mana investment total, but I like that the Dart is a permanent way to deal with Radha. Huh? I mean, if they buff it, I guess it's worse, but... Seems fine. The crab seems fine too. Blocks Mauler, blocks Radha, blocks pumped, one pumped Mauler. I'm kind of on board with this. Let's let's run it back with the dart. Your deck's not great when you're like excited about dart being good. All right, well, we've got a great keep here. Riddle form into riddle form attack. Um, I guess we could do riddle form into larcenist into riddle form attack. Yeah, now I just kind of want to do riddle form into riddle form into dragon fire. Start beating in from above. Visionary, yeah. got the 3-3 three, three flyers. Two of them are non-land, non-token permanent. So Replicator already has value from these riddle forms alone, which is kind of sweet. So I'm going to dragon fire that. Never look back. Great draw. Needed that. So let's uh, dragon fire. Activate. Get in for six. We're a land away from replicator value, which would be nuts. Get eight power on turn five would be really nice. Otherwise, we just play the singer and, and get a flyer. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think we just go singer pass. Alright, so now we just go Replicator. Could have done Entity, but actually getting two 4-4s four here is pretty nice. Alright. I think we actually block the Dilophosaur. It's got Death Touch Trample, and it's getting pumped. And trades with the Naki Ogre anyway, so... Kind of okay with this. One card left in their hand. That's good. So, we can do double Larcenist. Or we can do the Entity. Best use of mana is the Larcenist, but I think we want the Entity. We also get to Scry too. Uh, I guess we can ditch the land and...
Yeah, we'll do the skimmer. It's fine. Oh, let's see. So, I think we just block here. So if they have titanic growth, they can kill us. Well, I guess they don't take us to one. They'd need like a combination of stuff to kill us, but we're in pretty good shape. I kind of want to block just in case. Good stuff, though. And then they don't attack this time? Weird. Well... Incinerator. Uh, yeah, I guess we jam this. Guess if they have traitorous greed, they could kill us. Uh, Volcanic Geyser does kill us. That's fine. They didn't, oh, they couldn't attack. I see, I see, I see. So, Arsonist... Larcenist. Larcenist. Get in for two. Alright. Well, we didn't die to a volcanic salvo. That's good. Uh, weird attack with the visionary. I guess they successfully bluffed me there. But my flyers seem more valuable than taking two points of damage at the time. Alright, we'll see in round two. Alright, round two we'll play first. Gonna mull that one. This one we'll keep. This hand's actually fine. Um, probably ditch the crab. I'd rather have the solemn. Alright, that was a good draw. At least we can play the solemn now. Find our second red mana. And maybe get a read the tides to refill our hand. Alright, I can I can uh dragon fire that I guess. They might try to like pride Malkin it, so it's probably worth our time to wait. Um That's fine. I'm gonna try if they have Rangers Guile here, I guess we're in some trouble. Oh they do? No. That's a bummer. That is a bummer. They had exactly what they needed there. Alright, let's get the Solemn online. At least it looks pretty good here. Get our second red. Never snapped off a block so fast in my entire life. Alright, Frost Breath's good. So, that's actually perfect. Well, the issue is smaller untaps, but that's alright. We do have six mana. So I can read the tides. Seven power creatures, pretty big. I think we just go. I 
I think we just get in with the shackle geist. Play the singer. And our best our best bet is to read the tides for some value here. I don't know if we want to draw three or bounce. Probably bounce. <laughs> I think we're going to have to tempo them out to win. Which is possible. Well, I don't care about staunch shield mate, so that's good news. No attacks. Well, that's sweet too. Let's uh, let's get our bounce on then, huh? Get rid of these two little fellers. Get in. That was good. Do we draw a card? Now we're in good shape. We get to double play next turn. I probably just attack with Larsonist anyway. They have seven mana, so they can play. They can only play one of their big dudes, probably the seven three. I don't usually fear a Gorehorn though, so. It's big. It is definitely big. Right, that's fine. No problem. So let's go. Uh, let's attack into it first. I want the extra card. Not the extra card I was hoping for. But that's okay. So we can go land, arsonist, crab. And now, if they attack into Arsonist, they get pinged. And both of our guys are lethal. So even if they kill one of our flyers, they're still going to die to the other one if the Arsonist dies. So if they don't attack into Arsonist, we attack in with our Arsonist and kill them. So they're playing Selesnia, but we didn't see any actual counter synergies. Uh, Dart does deal with a Gorehorn. It deals with a Tyranodon. They have the Ranger's Guile, though. Which is definitely good. Frost Breaths are looking good. Their guys are kind of clunky. Frost Breath is nice. We're holding them down for a couple turns. Turn to Slag deals with stuff, but it's more expensive than I want. So I can do the dart instead of something. Like, dart is better against Mauler than Capture Sphere is because the Mauler just untaps. But. And it's a way to do a turn three Storming. In. No, this is only instance of sorceries. Never mind. How many actual ways do we have to make into the cheaper? Not that many. An opt, a dragon fire, two geysers. Which, which, let's face it, guys are making Entity cheaper. doesn't make much sense. Incinerator's not great here because their guys are already kind of big and we have to pay a premium for this. But I might just do it anyway. I guess tampering lets us get by their guys. I still don't, I don't like it that much. Dart has random replicator synergy. If you, if you put a couple of them in, that is... It's actually kind of cool. I'm not opposed to bringing in darts. I just don't know what for. Like a capture sphere. And then what? If I was going to bring in two. I don't even know. Geyser. Doesn't seem wise. We might just keep it the same. I mean, Capture Sphere deals with threats we don't know about yet, too. Well, I want to keep this, but Grip Full of Blue with Red lands doesn't seem wise. This one we'll keep, and we can ditch the... Uh, oh my word. This hand is... What do we get rid of here? Is it the opt? 
The opt lets us do a turn three entity. It can't be the dragon fire. But opt also turns on riddle form. It can't be the shackle, guys. Wow, this is the toughest mulligan I've ever seen. It can't be a land. Is it the opt? I guess it's opt. That's crazy. But I want shackle guys now into riddle form. We can do a turn four dragon fire, I guess. That's crazy. Just going the sniper plan, huh? All right. All right, so we'll just, I guess, nuke that sniper. Oh, I can't uh, block it. That's right. Okay, that's fine. Um, might actually do the riddle form here. Yeah, I think so. I wanna, I wanna play Dragonfire. The turn I get a land, so I can go Dragonfire Entity, and turn on a riddle form. It's a little bit greedy in terms of damage taken, but. Ultimately, I think it's probably the wisest choice. We also have Frost Breath to buy us more time, so I kind of like it. All right, we did get what I wanted here, and they're tapped out, which is also good news. So we go, not that one, go Dragonfire on the Mauler. Activate that. Entity. What do we want to scry? Two lands? Uh, we don't need them right now. Get in. Surprised they only attack there. All right. So we can frost breath now. We're at nine, so yeah, I think so. So I guess we play the Frost Breath again to activate the Riddle Form. We stole two matches with this deck. It's pretty amazing, actually. This deck is very much not impressive, but we're stealing victory, so I'm thankful for that. We'll see you in round three. Opponent is going first. I mean, his hand's not ideal, but I think being on the draw, I'm going to try it. We do have a couple draws that make the entity better. This is, yeah, this is acceptable. We need red lands. We need any lands, but the crabs can... Crabs are kind of deceptively good. I know that they're just a 2-5 that you ordinarily would never want to play, and we're playing two of them because our deck is whatever. But they're actually... They're better than they look. I mean, you get seven total power toughness for four mana. That's not bad. I mean, four mana for a 3-4 would be good. So what's wrong with a 2-5? It does its job. 5 toughness is huge. Oh, well. Don't mind if I do. Now we're jamming Solemn like our life depends on it. Well, we found a good Onaki Ogre trade here. We'll get the second uh, red mana.
If they kill spell sell them, I'm fine with that too. Yeah. So we'll draw. So we can go dragon fire entity here plus arsonist. That's pretty good. So we'll go dragon fire here. Then do the entity. Actually, in hindsight, that might not have even been the best move. It actually probably would have been wiser. I'm going to keep these, by the way. Uh, yeah, they... In hindsight, I think I maybe just wanted a hard cast entity and cast an arsonist and save our dragon fire. I think that would have been smarter, but that's all right. They're still looking pretty good here. So six mana, definitely jamming the arsonist, and I guess passing. Saving the dragon fire though, because arsonists can just trade with an Onaki ogre. And Wishwing Crab can just block it all day. So there's not really a point to There's not really a point to use the Dragon Fire there, other than just getting the discount on entity, which isn't necessary. So I think I got a little too excited to make entity cheaper. Alright. Well Sky Scanner is like the least of my concerns. Um, I think I'm actually just going to brawl with these two. There's no point in attacking with Arsonist into the 1-1. One, one. It gets rid of the blocker, I guess. I don't know. Didn't seem worth it to me. Now we're playing Crab Beats. How does this? How is this deck undefeated? Turn to slag, yeah. That will take care of it, but they're in just oodles, oodles of trouble here. You can get to set up for the sweet replicator play. Let's draw first. I guess now I'll attack with arsonist, whatever. Whatever. Taking it all. Okay, so. I think we just kind of win here because we play Larsenist and it doesn't matter what they play now. I don't want to speak too soon, but double Larsenist. I don't know about mono red board wipes. Like, I don't even think they're mono red. I think they legitimately just missed their second color the whole game. So I don't I don't know what they are. Ractosac deck, maybe. We don't even have enough info to do a sideboard plan at all. We saw an Onaki Ogre and a Sky Scanner, and that's it, the whole game. So I think we run it back. I mean, Arsonist looks good against both the creatures they played. And, uh, yeah. I mean, they had to shock. They had to shock a Solemn. So you're doing good. Yeah, it's a keep. It's a good looking hand, actually. Alright, so they were two color. As expected. There's not a lot of mono color decks in this format from what I've seen. Alright, Watchdog. Our arsonist can trade with that, so we don't even care. Shacklegeist, right on cue. Perfect draw. I'm happy to trade an arsonist for a Watchdog. Um, let's see, with the Vigilance, I guess we take it. We have Frost Breath for some, at some point here. Uh, we'll play the Larsenist for now. And set up for a Frost Breath. 
we get a fourth land, we can even go Dragonfire Entity, which is pretty nice. Even playing the Solemn seems fine to me. Uh, I think we can, well... I think we'll do the Frost Breath. I'm doing it on my turn so I can attack with Larcenus. They might have Shock. I kind of want to draw that card this turn. If they have Feet, so be it. Could make them Feet on their turn. That's fine. So, I think we still... Do we still attack with Larcenist here? I guess so. I kind of need that card. All right. Now we have Capture Sphere, which is good. All right. That's fine. All right. So we can play around a second feat by doing Capture Sphere now, which I think we will. Get in with the Geist. That's fine. Trade an Arsonist for a Kerr. is a great trade for us anyway so I'm okay with that mm -hmm. uh, now we can hard cast the entity without having to use dragon fire I think we do that Question is, are they going to attack into it? I guess we're so low on life, we probably just need to drag and fire this. I don't want to, but it seems foolish not to when we're this low on life. Right, we can ditch both of those. Don't need them. We have Solemn. Sure. Uh, this is a really important land here, actually, because, yeah, because if they have removal for Solemn, now we don't die to uh, to Onaki Ogre, which is kind of crazy. Uh, let's just keep attacking, too. So if they have Shock, they only hit us for five. We still can draw. They don't do anything, which is sweet. So I think we can now just kill them. Which is also crazy. So if they have a shock. Probably shock the shackle geist. Swift response the entity. Mm, it's pretty good. They're at one. They can't kill us with the angel. If they have a shock, they can kill us. Alright, or that. So, ended up losing it. Can't get much closer than one life. If I had attacked with that arsonist earlier in the game. Wait, that was game one. Never mind. Uh, Capture Sphere still looks good with all their auras. I guess Frost Breath does too.
Geyser is, is tough to ever cut, though. Um, all right, we'll, we'll run it back. So they're on aura plan. I mean, as bad as our deck is, this is still a match we should probably win. But at this point, I mean, if we lose this match, it doesn't even matter. Our double wish queen crab deck is undefeated going to the finals. That, that alone is just absolutely preposterous. This is a good hand. Start the early beats. Even read the tides is good against the aura deck. Master, so they do have insane cards in there somewhere. So I think we will probably, I mean, depending on what we draw, we probably do the turn three opt to see if we can find the Stormwing Entity. It's pretty wishful thinking, but considering we have nothing, <laughs> they can just, just perfectly rip it. Uh, Frost Breath's going to be Perfect. I mean, technically we'll need that land eventually, but for now, we just get in for two. The Houndmaster can trade with the Arsonist. They didn't attack with the shield mate. I guess because we have the entity. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Uh, we're doing Frost Breath on their turn. And the reason that is because an extra turn of them being tapped down is really good. Although this leaves them a chance to do feet. But I'm not, I'm not entirely sure that matters. So I can Arsonist block the... Yeah, we don't even need to Frost Breath yet. I'm going to do it at the end of their turn. Because I'm totally happy to do this trade too. They're going to leave up the feet. They did. We're still going for it. All right, that's sweet. Have the swift response mana here. All right, in response to that, no. draw a land we're just gonna rip yeah we're gonna draw three here all right that was acceptable not great <laughs> not exactly the three cards i wanted to see
All right, that's, to be honest, not exactly the draw I wanted to see either, but it's all right. All right, so we play the riddle form. We play the singer. And I might need to stop on my next upkeep for riddle form. Oh, wait. Do I... How do I stop on the next one here? Can I, I can only scry once, I think, for riddle form on my upkeep. And they need to kill one of these plus the riddle form, but that's only if we can't find a... Oh, well, never mind. Well, we're still looking okay here. If they have shock, I guess they get us. Which means we have to take this. Oh, they're getting a land, so... Wow. So we just 3 0 with possibly one of the worst decks for the archetype in one of my least favorite archetypes. If that's, if that's not magic for you, I don't know what is. Pretty crazy. All right. Well, uh, very happy. Very, very thrilled to get a victory with, with this pile of cards. So hope you enjoyed watching that. Uh, I'm very pleased with that victory. So, all right, we'll see you for the next one.